<laughs> Already, they're setting the game up to be spooky and fantastic. A single boat floating in the cold water at night with the ominous fog. And in the distance, you can hear nothing. But soon enough, we'll hear the screeching of zombies. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a game I am so excited for, The Last of Us 2. Well, I mean, I, I'm excited for it now. <laughs> I just got through playing The Last of Us a couple of months ago after not even realizing this was a game. But after I've played it, I've got to say it was one of my favorite games I've ever played. One of the best storyline zombie games I've ever played. And I am super pumped for this game. And it couldn't come at a better time. There's nothing else to play except Battle Royale games. And after playing so much Warzone, I've gotten bored of that. So, um, welcome to the best game, I'm sure, that will come out in 2020 until something else drops. But uh, if you guys are excited for The Last of Us 2, smash the like button. I am beyond hype for this game. I tried to avoid any spoilers that exist because I know there was like some type of big leak. All I know is that this is, I, I'm guessing, several years later, and Ellie's a lot older. I'm not really sure what's happened to Joel. And when we left off uh, with The Last of Us, we had just got through saving, well, Joel had just got through saving Ellie from being sacrificed to the crazy fireflies. So I'm not really sure where this game's going to pick up or how many new characters we'll meet along the way, but I am thoroughly excited. And uh, yeah, you guys are too. Again, smash the like button and let's go. All right, here we go. Listen, game, I have one request. Can you make finding arrows a little bit easier? That's the one peeve I had about the first game. You could find shotgun shells and handgun ammo, but a stick you shoot from a bow, impossibly hard to find. Okay, I'm guessing this is Joel with his guitar, polishing his guitar, as you do in a zombie apocalypse. Priorities. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm supposed to take her to the fireflies and walk away. You go halfway across the country with someone. She needed her immunity to mean something. This game looks incredible. Maybe I was starting to buy into that old cure business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. Of course you did. You guys have a super cute bond. And then we made it. We found the firefly. And then killed them all. <laughs> because of her, they were actually going to make a cure. They were? The only catch. It would kill her. It's a pretty big catch. Sweet Jesus. Doctor? What are you doing? <laughs> I won't let you take her. <laughs> this is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Oh no, he's got a scalpel. Watch out. <laughs> Talk about bringing a knife to a gunfight. Jesus Christ, Joel. What do you do? What do you think he did? He killed them all. The eyes say it all. <laughs> I saved her. Oh, I, I saved her. By killing everyone, obviously. So wait, they could have extracted a cure from her? You guys told me at the end of the game that that was not the case, that she would have died in vain. I got a lot of mixed comments about that, but still, they could have. Come on, baby girl, I got you. Oh, it's so cute. I forgot about that baby girl. Cover the exit. Don't let him get away. Shit. I hope their bond in this game is just as strong as it was in the first one. That's the one part I loved about the first game. Oh my god, can you polish that any slower? The answer is yes. That's so. That's a lot. Of bodies, because he killed everyone. What does Ellie know? I told her they just ran some tests. I told her her immunity meant nothing. So he did lie. That's what I thought, but you guys told me I was wrong. And she believed you? I don't think she did. 
See, those eyes say it all. I didn't say otherwise. <laughs> but she definitely knew something at least. We should head back. You finally done polishing that guitar? <laughs> Took you long enough. What about the strings though? Are there no strings on the guitar? <laughs> all right, all right. I have so many questions. Oh, wow! This game looks incredible! I'm sorry, I'm probably gonna say it like 10,000 times, but seriously, holy crap, this game looks amazing. I have a full erection right now for the graphics. And we're on horseback, the best way to traverse the zombie apocalypse. When your horse breaks down, you don't need spare parts because if your horse breaks down, it's dead, but still. Hello there, boys. Mm, I'm gonna try and resist gushing over the graphics the entire video, but seriously, I'm very impressed. So I was right. I felt like at the end of the first game that he had lied to her. They really could have extracted a, uh, an antidote, you know, basically a way to cure all of humanity from the virus. But you guys told me that wasn't true, that apparently there were some tapes that I listened to or rather probably missed most likely because I tend to do that, that uh, explained that even, you know, they've been trying this over and over again, but they couldn't have actually found any type of cure. So I'm not really sure what to believe. He definitely lied to her, and I feel like Ellie knew that he was lying, but just kind of went along with it. So uh, I'm not really sure. Hopefully the game will explain it. Wow, look at the scenery. We've got the mountains, the trees, the old wrecked vehicles. The huge city. Wow, they have done well for themselves. Check it out. That's an impenetrable fortress. No zombies getting through that. All right, Tommy, let's go down there and check it out. Hopefully Ellie isn't too mad at Joel. I mean, I'm sure at some point she's gonna find out that he was lying to her, but he only did it because she's his baby girl, right? I mean, they have a father-daughter relationship. It's super cute. Oh, wow. All right, where are the zombies at? And why do I not have a gun? Am I like, am I like the Pied Piper of the zombie apocalypse? Strumming on my guitar, leading the zombies away? Definitely not. Hello there. You wait till I get a bow, and you will be so dead. Most likely not though, because I'm a really bad shot. All right, all right. Man, look at this place. I don't remember if we got a proper look at the fortress in the first game. I don't think we did. Stop! Stop what? Uh, identify yourself before approaching the gate. I am Joel, the one that basically continued the zombie apocalypse because, you know, I wouldn't sacrifice Ellie, but I have a good reason. She's my daughter. Kind of, not really, but still, we have a bond. Oh, wow, look at this place. A stable? All right, they've got electricity, so that that's a great start. Come on. It's okay, I got him. You go on. You sure? Thank you, that's, that's very nice of you. I kinda wanna check this place out. Seriously, why is Joel not packing any about heat? what we were talking about earlier. I can't say I'd have done different. I'll take it to the grave if I have to. It's very nice of you. Well, I'm glad to see they've patched things up. I'll see you later. All right, I want to get a proper look at this fortress. Oh, they've got a tire swing too. How nice. Okay, so obviously this is several years later, I'm guessing, right? Based on the screenshots I've seen. So Ellie's much older, Joel's older. I wonder what type of adventure Ellie's gonna go on. Hopefully not to try and find out the truth, because that'd be really sad. Hello. Ellie? 
She's drawing. An artist at work. Wow, this place looks really neat. Very comfortable, too. Jesus. This gave me a heart attack. I tried knocking, but... Hey. Hey. I'm sensing some awkward tension here. What's up, Joel? Just checking in. Folks are... You know, talking about how impressed they are with you and... how well you're helping out. It's good. Yeah. Tommy and I went out riding the other day and... he, uh... <laughs> told me a joke, and I, I thought about you. It's, um... Oh, shoot, now I forgot it. Uh, <laughs> something about a clock. How do you... Joel, it's, uh... It's pretty late, and I gotta... get up in a few hours. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I'm, I'm gonna get out of your hair. I just, um... I, w I wanna show you something. Just give me one second. Yeah, I'm definitely sens sensing some tension here. She clearly knows the truth. Joel knows she knows the truth. They're just not saying it. There's a giant fat elephant in the room. Some folks call this thing here a guitar. Guitar. Funny. You wanna hear something? Hell yeah. Okay. Strum away. Play something melancholy to get me in the mood for this game. Promise me that you won't laugh. Never. I won't laugh. I won't. Are you going to Trust sing? You. Because if I tried to laugh, or I tried to sing, people would laugh at me, just saying. Oh wow, we can actually play, okay. Uh, G, all right, how do I do this? Oh my gosh, no way. Don't tell me I have to be the one to play the song. <laughs> oh, I see what's happening here. Okay, there we go. Well, now we've got some very wonky controls. Kind of reminds me of playing uh, Detroit Become Human. That's nice. If I ever were to lose you, I surely lose myself. Everything I have found here, I'm not found by myself. Try and sometimes you'll succeed to make this man of me. All my stolen missing parts, I have no need for anymore. Cause I believe. I believe cause I can see our future days, days of you and me. It's a really sweet song. <laughs> Better than I could do. I'll give it to you. There you go. Touching. Well, that didn't suck. <laughs> that is a compliment. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. Just keep practicing. Next thing you know, you'll be Michael Jackson hitting those high notes. Impossible. He has a She's big beard, so. Too much testosterone. No. No, 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 no. I don't know the first thing I about this. I promise that I teach you how to play. You did. Oh, come on, guys. Say tomorrow night, first lesson. Deal. Okay. I don't like okay. this awkward tension. 
He basically sacrificed Did the... <laughs> Do you remember the joke? Um. <laughs> what is the downside to eating a clock? I have no idea. It's time consuming. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> That is a dad joke. You're really, you're really good at being a dad. He's got the jokes. He's got the music, the beard. But yeah, you guys, you guys had better really start bonding because he basically sacrificed the entire world and all the people in it by not sacrificing Ellie to the fireflies to create some type of vaccine. So you guys need to bond. And right now, I'm demanding it. So I'm guessing that's right after they got back. Right after he saved her from the fireflies. So now I'm guessing this is several years later. What has changed? Oh yeah, she's a lot older. Four years later. Shit. Okay. <sighs> Hey. Morning. Sorry, I totally overslept. Just give me a minute and I'll get dressed. I heard you had quite a night after I left. I... She kissed me. It was just Dina being Dina. She didn't mean anything by it. Are you sure? I was talking about your fight with Seth. Wait. <laughs> you kissed Dina? Oh. Busted. I thought this was... We're broken up one week and you make a move on my girl? Uh oh, oh. <sighs> she was probably just trying to make you jealous. I didn't. I would never. <sighs> Fuck, this is awkward. <laughs> I'm messing with you, man. I don't care. Get dressed. Well, now he it's seems like worse. a chill guy. That's kind of fucked up. You did that. <sighs> Get oh. Together, we're already late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up. I need. Oh. <laughs> Smells fine. What do you mean it smells fine? There is no such thing as just smelling fine. You either smell terrible or fantastic. There's no in between. All right, we get to explore. And I love exploring. Okay. I'm liking it. You have a very nice little cozy setup here. Complete with a handgun. What more do you need in life? Sure. Okay, she's taking her journal with her. Lots of books. Do you still have your joke book? Full of terrible dad puns. Hopefully so. That was kind of the highlight of the first game. All right, all right, all right. Not too shabby. I must admit, if I was in a zombie apocalypse, this would probably be the best I could hope for. You're not going to get some penthouse in Miami. Hell no. But this, it's safe. You're inside a giant fortress. Plenty of people around. And Ellie's already getting in some romance, I see. All right, I like what I see here. Let's take a uh, knife up? with us. That sucks. Yeah. Can't imagine they got much sleep. Definitely not. Definitely not. <sighs> Shut up. I was just about to get up. Mm -hmm. I was. You got everything? <sighs> yes. Following you? I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it one last time. The graphics are phenomenal. Up. You're the talk of the town this morning. <sighs> What? Let me see if I got this right. You kissed Dina. She kissed me. Which triggered Seth to call you a not so nice word. Yep. Then Joel decked him. More of a push. <laughs> and then you got mad at Joel. That part confused me. It was a strange night, man. It sounded like a lot of fun. That's exciting. Maria wants a word with you. Wow, well, they've got a Where greenhouse too. Multiple greenhouses. Diner. What's this about Seth? No clue. Just tell her you never saw me. Nope. Where's your fucking loyalty? Excuse me? All right, let's open this uh, gate up. Hey, so we're OK, right? You and me? Yeah, of course. Dina and I are done. What happened? I know. It's just I don't want you to think. Ellie. We're cool. 
Damn. Damn. This place is bustling. Thanks. Seems like a nice little community. Oh, look at the kids. They're having a snowball fight. <laughs> wow. Oh, I can pet the dog? 10 out of 10. 10 out I already love this game so much. Come here, doggy. Let me pet you. Who's a good dog? Oh, look at how cute you are. Get a good scratch. I love this game so much. Any game where you can pet any creature is amazing by my standards. <laughs> oh, now this looks cozy. Howdy, folks. You guys look a little plump. Th to me, it doesn't seem like you're the type of survivors that puts a lot of effort into helping people out. You just kind of sit around, get drunk, eat a lot, and then try and warm up. I think we're gonna have to put you out. We're gonna have to put you outside as zombie bait. Oh, look at that, a little snowman. Howdy, kids. Someday you're gonna grow up and you're gonna have to face the harsh reality of life. The zombies are out there and you gotta get your ass out there and start doing work, hunting zombies, killing deer. I'm harsh, I know, but I mean, come on. Everyone has to pitch in. Oh, wow, they've got barbecue too. The clay pit. Can I go in here? All in due time, I'm sure. All right. Sorry, I have a really bad case of curiosity. Lots of horses. I don't think I, well, there's a tractor. I was about to say, I don't think I see any running vehicles, but uh, oh, hi. still, horses are practical, right? Blacksmithing shop. They really have everything. Trapper post. Oh, now we're talking the tipsy bison. What type of drinks do they have in here? Hopefully lots of moonshine. Wanna grab some breakfast? No. Where's Maria? In the back. You don't want breakfast? Wow, they have done such a good job making this town feel alive. Look at it. One of the things games always get wrong about trying to make a place feel alive is a lot of the NPCs just kind of seem like they're dead, but they've really done a good job laying out the characters in the game, and um, from what I can see, they really do seem like they're having actual conversations and doing things, not just kind of standing there, you know, repeating the same pose and movement over and over again. That always looks so artificial. Excuse me, coming through. Excuse me. Ellie, there you are, come here. And who are you? Seth's got something he wants to say to you. I don't want to hear what that bigot has to say. Bigot? Me. Please. Fine. Seth. Seth, come here. Fuck me. Oh, okay. Hey. Hello there, old timer. Uh, look, last night I was, uh, I was drinking too much. Sure. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. Really? Doesn't seem like it. Maria tells me that you and Dean are headed out. I uh, made you some sandwiches. Yum. Okay. Your steak. Oh. Thank you, Seth. Hmm. Yeah. Well, uh. You be safe out there. You yep. better watch your back, bigot. I appreciate that. Why is he a bigot again? What you got there? Bigot sandwiches. <laughs> mm. Smells good. They're yours. You sure? It's fine. Let me walk you out. Okay. Do you not eat, Ellie? You shouldn't skip breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Why, I have no idea, but apparently that's the case. All right, I've got to stop by here at some time and uh, have a couple drinks. Oh, man. Are you high? This guy's eyes, they're so red. I guess they have more in there than just liquor. When you go out, I want you to trade off with Tommy and Joel. Those boys have been up for far too long. Where do I meet them? If you go up to the Northwest Lookout, they're scheduled to arrive later today. But watch yourself. I mean, there's too many sightings of infected recently. Of course. I was gonna check out the creek trails. I'll need someone else to cover it. Ellie, you know the creek trails? Not really. Dina's done it a bunch. I'll have the two of them take it. Well, that's all that. Hmm. All right. We're gonna be, Ellie, uh... Can I talk to you for a sec? 
Sure thing. They're going to be going out on a mission together, and they kissed last night. Well, she kissed Ellie, right? Because she totally had nothing to do with that. You didn't pull away or anything? An accessory to the fact. Yes, what is it? So, look, I don't know what's going on with you and Joel. <sighs> Maria. Guy really cares about you. And I'm sure he didn't mean to. We're fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I hope you're fine. Okay. Sorry to pry. Be safe. Thanks. Why do people always say that? Your Be data. safe. Assignments. As if you're going to try and deliberately get yourself killed. Can we get your girlfriend to the stables, please. <laughs> oh, God. So they're already a thing. I love it. Oh. Hey, Dina. Can I talk to you? <laughs> hey, guys. I'm tapping out. Come on. For how long? You can't tap out of a snowball <laughs> fight. Hey, hey. Um, I just want to say sorry for running off last night. Oh, that's, it's okay. I totally get it. I, <laughs> I just, I felt bad. Why? Because I, I started the whole thing and I just, I shouldn't have kissed you in front of all of those people. And no, you were drunk, it's fine. Well, still, I just, I don't want you to think. No, I'm not reading into it or anything. Just. You know what I love about you? How you let me finish my sentences. All right. Well, we should probably get going. Yeah. Mm, they do Ow! make a cute what couple. What the fuck? I'm not even playing. Because you're a chicken. You're a chicken. <laughs> I hate this kid so much. Go on, deck him. You want to fuck him up? Can we? Yeah, I do. Hell yeah. You Prepare to get it. wasted by get a giant on, snowball. Oh, this is so cool. Hey, come here, kid. Bah! Oh, right in the chest. You messed with the wrong person. I'm the snowball queen. Yeah, you better run. Oh, in the back of the head. Come here. Come here. Actually, can I get... Yeah, there we go. Let me get a snowball. I'm coming for you, Come here. Where are you going? Pop. Oh! Damn. Damn. Caught me off guard. All right. Gotta watch out for this slippery bastard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 you missed. Come here. Come here. Point blank. Right in the back of the head. <laughs> oh, you're going to try and hide from me? I don't think so. This looks like a lot of fun. I haven't had a snowball fight. Oh, God. Probably in like eight or seven years. Eight or seven years. That makes sense. Probably at least eight years. Mm. Oh, there we go. Oh. All right. Ellie and Dina, seven. The kids are only two. Two points. Pathetic. No okay, now live, for four Alex. points. All right, I probably shouldn't have stood still just then. <laughs> oh, you hit the logs. How unfortunate. Come here, come here, come here. Pop. Yeah, oh, no, look at me. Little, little did you guys know that I was a baseball <laughs> champion. Definitely not, but still, I can throw stuff. Let me tell you why. I'm good at throwing things. Eat it, shrimps. Hey. hey. How's it feel? <laughs> No, get her! Get her! Oh, no, that's clean fun. It's almost like there's not a zombie apocalypse happening right outside the gates. All right, all right, we actually have some work to do. Scram. Man. Scram. I guess I asked for that, huh? Yep. Look at how pretty the lights are. Let's go. There's, I, I, I say it every time, but there's just something about snow in video games that's so calming and kind of fun. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because you can experience the snow without being cold. <laughs> so Jesse wants us to do the creek trails. He's gonna relieve Joel and Tommy. Oh, that's nice he assigned us together. You're gonna like this route. Really? Morning, girls. Morning. Morning. I am loving the cowboy hat. Looks badass. Where can I get one of those? Actually, they're all wearing cowboy hats. Except for this loser over here with a normal I'll beanie on. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Can I get the fastest horse, please? And can I get to name the horse? If so, I'm going to name my horse Thunder, just because it sounds cool. Watch. I get the horse with the gimp leg. Calling it now. Ugh. All right. That does not look pleasant to step in. Hello. Give me the fastest horse possible, please. That's a good girl. Look who's here. Thanks. Come on. Hi. 
Um, should we possibly go to the arsenal of weapons? Just an idea. Oh, I forgot. Ellie has her pocket knife. Uh, look who decided to join us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One for you. Hey. Right. No scope. My gun's naked. And one for you. And she gets the semi-auto? Open it up. It's not very fair. Settle Obviously, down, I'm the crack Jordan. shot here. Come on now. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes, mark your log books, clear any infected you see. You run into anything you can't handle. You come back. Got it. Be smart about it. All right. Get going. I like this guy. He seems really cool. Hopefully on our very dangerous mission together, we can kind of spark up a little romance here. Again, these two, they look like they make a really cute couple. Yeah. But I'm seriously bummed out about the fact that I have a gun with no scope on it. What is that? Wow, look at those mountains. All right, so far, I think this game is fantastic. I mean, we've had a snowball fight. We've been, we've been able to pet a dog. Bigot sandwiches? What more do you want from a game? Okay, I've tried this before. Sleeping bags on the floor? Trust me, it is not comfortable. I can already feel my neck cramping up. Who are you? <sighs> Having a nightmare. Damn, she is buff. What the hell? Oh my god. She's got more muscle than me. Look at that big cozy fire. Seriously, how many steroids is she on? Look at those biceps. Look at the shoulders. One punch from her and you're going to be shattered. <laughs> Damn. Unless I'm misjudging her gender, I don't know. There's a thousand genders, right? Seriously, you do not miss gym day ever, do you? What were you dreaming about? Was I talking? You're doing your teeth grinding thing. Where have you been? Grab your gear. I want to show you something. What? Trust me. It's amazing you could find hair gel in a zombie apocalypse. His hair is just perfect, styled and everything. <laughs> Sorry, I, I noticed the weirdest things in games. Come on, this way. Look at the pretty snow. And again, the fidelity of this game is incredible. Ooh, it's it's cold. Stark difference from the first one. You sure you don't want to do this when the sun's out? And it's warmer? No. Can't Interesting. Wait. Why do they you just- You don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. Their names, it's just woman and man. Do they not have names? <laughs> Are they just random side characters? Ooh, okay. Broken part of the wall here. The one thing that scares me is what broke through. <laughs> Or rather, how many? What are you doing wandering around out here by yourself? <laughs> Been restless. I can see that. I feel like the farther south we go, the prettier it's gotten. You want to keep going? And just drive all the way to Mexico? I've thought about it. I can see Manny's hometown. <laughs> yeah, I don't see that living up to his stories somehow. Yeah, no, probably not. Oh! Okay, someone's been here. Did all this in the dark. Or rather, he's been through here. Now, come on. What are you going to show me? It had better be really exciting to get me out of a warm bed. You keep going like this. We're going to be tired for today's trip. It's not that far. And uh, out okay. here in the snow. She seemed out of it these past few days. She'll be fine. <laughs> you stop being weird. You're freaking me out. I'm not being weird. You kind of are. Careful jumping over these. Oh, listen, I'm a parkour master. 
Mm, check it out. Are you breaking up with Mel? What? No. You wish. <laughs> uh, I've had my fill. Thank you. Mm, look at the sprints. We can't all be as graceful as you. Clearly. What is that? You'll be fine. It's too high. Come on. Okay. Wow, look at her eyes. Oh, she's like, Jesus! One wrong step and I'm gonna fall and die! Yeah, listen, I feel the same way, sister. Okay, see? Just as I say that. Eyes on me. <sighs> Stop looking down. It's kind of hard to do. Because down is so far and dangerous. All right, Mr. Hairdo, I'm following you. Do we have to go back this way? Consider it an opportunity to work on your fears. Who wants to work on their my fears? Foot up your ass. Abby, stop flirting. <laughs> you consider that flirting? <laughs> All right, this guy's into some weird shit. <laughs> oh, wow, even the snow on the trees can fall down. I am so impressed. Why that's impressive, I don't know, but it's impressive. Come on, man. What? Oh, that's what he's going to show us. The town. Interesting. We made it. Holy shit. Does look beautiful it's and very fancy. inviting. Yeah. Have you told anyone else? I wanted you to see it first. Saw an armed patrol go from town to an outpost over there. A few more outposts in between. They have electricity, guns. It's a lot of people. We can figure it out. Okay. Assuming he's in there, how do we get to him? We can corner one of the patrols and get confirmation, and then, I don't know, maybe find a way to lure him out. I'm guessing they're talking about Joel. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they'll be happy to offer that information up. Well, then we make them. You hear yourself? Okay, what do you want to do? What is going on with you? Mel's pregnant. You got someone pregnant in a zombie apocalypse? What is wrong with you? Okay. It's not just that, though. Should I say congrats? When everyone else sees this, they're gonna want to turn back. We can convince them, right? I fucking knew I couldn't count on you. Happy. I want what you want. But not at any cost. What hey, does she want, don't. though? See you back at the lodge. Clearly, they're trying to lure someone out of the camp and then kill them, I'm guessing. So I, I'm, I'm going to assume it's about Joel and getting revenge. I could be wrong, though. That, that's probably what it is, though. This might be a survivor from the Fireflies. Fuck it. Oh, okay. So Abby's gonna go in alone. Again, who gets someone pregnant during a zombie apocalypse? What is wrong with you? Why would you want to bring a child into a cold, drab, deathly world like this where you have almost no chance of survival? I mean, I guess Ellie kind of turned out all right, right? <laughs> Not really. Well, it looks like we're going to make our way down here and go check out this outpost. What's the worst that could happen? Do I have any weapons? Okay, definitely not. Or if I do, I can't use them right now. Oof, it looks very cold here. Oh! Mm. Even with all those muscles, you just can't jump very far, huh? Let's get a nice sprint going and then... Oh, there we go! Again, not very graceful, but it gets the job done. Go around here. Is that a ski lodge? Look out. It's just a short hike. Yeah, a very short hike if you take the shortcut. 
Also, very many broken bones. Dodge under here. Oh, prone. Okay, here we go. Crawling through the snow. What could be more pleasant? Don't oh, careful. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, we don't have too long to go. Again, why? This shit. Seems kind of stupid. Oh, hello. You look very cold. There's no way you can come to life and grab me. You're frozen, solid, right? You alive? No. Not only are you not alive, but you're not undead. Good, let's keep it that way. Maybe that's the secret to surviving a zombie apocalypse. Just be out in the snow. That's a lot of them. Oof. Oh my God. So many frozen bodies. Apparently, on top of Mount Everest, there's a lot of climbers that didn't make it, and their bodies are still frozen on the mountain. And some people even use it as like a trail marker. Yes. Oh my God, I just saw that. Oh. Hello there. Please don't grab me. You're gonna grab me, aren't you? Of course you're gonna grab me. That's what they do. Okay, you didn't grab me. Thank you for that. That caught me off guard. Don't! Ah, so you guys don't freeze, huh? That's unfortunate. How are you still kicking? And why are you so violent? You must be hungry, huh? Come on. You've got so many muscles. Just beat the zombie to death. <laughs> wow, okay, they've done a great job changing up the sound effects, too. Mm. Uh, melee. There we go. That's right. Punch the zombie. Kick it senseless. I think she just broke its jaw. Nicely done. See, that's why you never skip gym day, ever. Oh. Okay, I don't remember the zombie sounding that terrifying in the first game. Oh, there we go. And I'm out of ammo. Are you, I was about to say, are you still kicking? Good Lord. Okay, this is gonna be a lot tougher. All I've got is my fist now. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, you're, you're a speedy little one, aren't you? You're real speedy. Oh, okay, here we, oh my. All right, well, I'm not good at this at all. Jesus, can you give me a break, please? Surely you can see I'm a novice in video games. All right, here we go, here we go. I got this. I'm just gonna beat it senseless. I mean, it's gonna beat me senseless. Yup, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, apparently that is not the strategy. More of them. You need backup? Seriously? This is so embarrassing. I truly apologize. You guys should know by now that I'm just terrible at games, right? Yup, okay. Wow. The video has basically just started. Already a zombie has beaten me senseless. That's just embarrassing. Guys, truly, I am sorry. But you know, you know, if you're watching this video and you've been around for a while, you guys know I'm terrible at video games. And I'm still out of ammo. Probably should have tried to preserve a little bit back there, but ah, uh, whatever. Wow, you can even break the branches in this game? Impressive. There we go. Mm, hit him with the wombo combo. There we go. Just had to die once. That's all it took. <laughs> mm, take that. Bop, bop. Ooh. Okay, she also does not skip leg day. Noted. Oh, we can heal. Okay. Obviously. Med kit and heal. There we go. That wouldn't have been an issue if I had, uh, you know, used a little forethought and brought some ammo with me. More than just five bullets. Oof. Okay, this place looks very cold. Hello, is there anyone home? Actually, is there anyone home that doesn't screech and try and eat my face off? I'm guessing the answer is no. Let's hop in here. Flashlight on, okay. Oh, well now that's a very fancy looking bike. And really, the pedals even move. I don't know why that's impressive to me, but it actually is. <laughs> oh, look at that. What, why is there a random tennis ball hanging from the ceiling? It's rather odd. Any handgun ammo? Of course not. Why would there be handgun ammo? Nothing at all. Mm, fantastic. I know there's something in here waiting to grab me. Okay, maybe not. 
I'll take that too. Three bullets. Oh, whoop de doo That obviously leads down somewhere. Check one more time around here. Anything, anything? Nope, doesn't look like it. Nothing at all. Okay, fantastic. I've got three bullets. So that's three times that I can miss. Got it. Oh, hello, hello. Little hidey spot down here. What do we have? That's a bad idea, Abby. Yes. Do you often talk to yourself? I always say that, even though I'm making a YouTube video and I'm talking to myself. All right, here we go. Let's try and actually be accurate. I shot it in the shoulder, but I mean, that's better than missing. And I'm guessing you're still not dead, right? It's probably a dumb idea double tapping a zombie when I only have three bullets, but worth it. Okay, stay dead, fat boy. Just passing through. There we go. It looks so inviting. The bright lights in the snow looks warm. Although we're here for sinister reasons, so I'm sure it's not gonna be very warm. Uh, can I go in here? Is this somewhere new that I haven't been yet? It is, okay. Oh, first aid kit. Don't mind if I do, thank you. That will definitely come in handy. No handgun ammo. Oh, we can go upstairs, or rather not. Nothing around here. More handgun ammo. No, nope, actually just one bullet. Thank you, game. All right, let's go ahead and put our other bullet in our gun. Let's head down here. Now, do I have my, uh, I don't want to say it's sonar, but the ability where you can hear. Okay. Not that I really used it that much in the first game, but. Close. Let's go over here. Okay, never, there we go. I was about to say, you can't climb that, seriously? Dead end. Is there a way in here? There is. Hello, hello. Hi! I'm not here! Oh, we can't listen. All right, stay crouched to sneak up on enemies and press triangle to grab them. Okay, all right. You've done this before. It's not that challenging. Hello there. Please don't hear me. Surprise! There we go. Stealth kill. Somehow a zombie can beat me to death, but sneaking up behind it and then choking it is just somehow really effective. I don't understand that, but... Oof. Look at your face. Look at your leg. Look at your arms. Ugh. Don't want to be grabbed by you. Anything in here besides an old bed? Nope. You know, I'd love to find a shotgun. Or three handgun bullets. That'll work too. Anything in the bathroom? Nope. Including toilet paper. Uh, love to see it. That, oh, I just thought of that. Imagine how difficult it would be living in a zombie apocalypse when you can't buy toilet paper. That would be challenging. I don't know why that's the one thing I'm worried about. I suppose you'd probably be more worried about finding clean water and food, but still, just something about that. I don't think I'd want to live with myself if I couldn't wipe my butt properly. The things I talk about. <gasps> oh, headshot! Oh, there's more of them. Hello. Nope. Nope. Okay. Looks like I'm not going to be able to hit headshots in this game. Got it. All right, now stay down. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> For some reason, zombies can shit ammo out. I'm not complaining, but it's just a weird game mechanic. All right, anything in here? Nope. Gotta make sure to scour every corner because you never know when there's a random single bullet. And in this game, ammo is seriously important. Anything around here? Nope, nope, nope. All right, let's keep going through here. Oh, of course, I've got a flashlight. I'm sorry, guys, I completely forgot. That's, wait, that's another random tennis ball hanging from the ceiling, why? That's so random. What happens if I shoot it? It's probably a bad idea to waste my gun ammo, handgun ammo, but whatever, I just had to find out. Strange. Okay. Not sure why that's there, but whatever. So lost. Oh, wait a minute, is this? Don't tell me I just made a giant loop. No, there's no way, there were zombies in here. No, this is a different place, okay, good. 
Um, where do I go? I can't go through the front door. Can I go upstairs? Yes, I can. Any goodies up here? Oof. Okay. I'm hoping you're dead. Oh, wait. This is where I came from. Oh. All right, hold up. Give your boy a second to kind of fumble around and see if I can find my way out of here. There we go. I don't know why it didn't occur to me that I could jump over the fence to get to the other side, but for some reason it didn't. <laughs> totally didn't just spend 25 minutes running around in circles till I found that out. All right, let's try and listen in with my amazing hearing. We've got a zombie over here having an existen existential crisis. Can't even speak, good Lord. Maybe I'm one of them. My brain is already going. Sneak up. Sneak up, you hear nothing, and now you are dead. Congratulations! You just got choked by the strongest bicep out here. And your neck's broken. Look at that. All right, there's clearly another one over here. He is also suffering from an existential crisis. Maybe just depression, who knows? It is kind of depressing being a zombie, right? Shh, shh, it's okay. Everything will go dark, and that's it. Your suffering will end. Oh, well, look at that. Broke your spine, I got some handgun ammo. A nice trade-off. <laughs> Do not turn around. There's nothing to see here but more snow. Definitely not a juicy human with massive biceps. Nope. Okay, here we go. Die, 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 die. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, I'm not fast enough. Oh my God, okay. This game is very unforgiving with the whole dodging mechanic. You miss it. That's it. Oh. Mm. Get knocked out. And did you hear the gargling? I think I broke its throat or something. <laughs> it's coughing blood up. Yeah, so I've, I've got to get better at dodging. I know it's painful to watch. Trust me, it's painful me to, for me to do. Where's the road? Where is the road? Well, this looks very promising. Let's crawl under here. What's the worst that could happen? Something grabbed me? Oh, it's just a giant loop. Okay, cool. All right, well, once again, I'm an idiot. I completely forgot about the tutorial where it showed me to go between objects. Horse tracks. Where's the patrol? Indeed. All right, intriguing. It looks like we have two separate storylines. Ellie, and then her. That is some pretty water. Also, it looks very frigid. Just riding along peacefully. Enjoying the scenery. Not worried about zombies. Or the lady with huge biceps coming. This way. Following okay. you. Listen, can we trade guns? Yes, I am a crack shot, but I prefer the semi-auto. <laughs> no. We've been together for so long. Look, Jesse's great. I love his parents. They will always be family, but we were just on autopilot. Hmm. Well, autopilot's yeah, not bad. Talked about this stuff. I don't know. It didn't feel... You never really talked to me about Kat. Yeah, because... There isn't much to talk about. Yow. I just... I, I got the impression that you didn't really like her. I don't care about her one way or the other. <laughs> okay. No, I think she's a talented artist. I've grown to like that tattoo of yours. Tattoo? That's so big of you. And I think she wasn't right for you. Interesting. Shut up. Okay. Well, now this place looks promising. I'm guessing she got a tattoo to cover up her bite. That'd be the most logical place to put one. Hey. You want to see something spectacular? You're going to point at your face, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is that spectacular. Oh, well, damn. Oh, brother. Excuse me. Come on, stupid. So, uh, what are we looking at here? A view! 
Okay, that is quite spectacular. Very, very pretty. Let's talk to her. Get this relationship rolling. What do you think of this view, huh? It's pretty nice. Yeah, this route has its perks. Where do we sign in? <laughs> Come on. Fuck. <laughs> Are you okay? Who do you used to do this route with? Jesse? Eugene. Right. Ah, oh, Eugene. Oh, man, he was funny. Was? Oh, yeah. I think Eugene got bit, or worse. Maybe the cannibals got to him. Plus, he taught me about rewiring electronics and stuff. Useful. May we all be that sharp at 73. Oh, 73, oh. I'll make it to 73. Well, now that's a, it's a proper old age to die. <laughs> oh my, shut up! Artificial intelligence, always going off at the wrong time. What is wrong with you? All right, let's climb up. Look at the strength, the dexterity. Sign us in. What was right. this place? Uh, it used to be a radio tower. I can see that. Very old one, too. Read. All clear. Found a wild horse, a horse stuck in the ice, got it out. Taking it back to camp, skipping the next lookout. All right, what the hell? Found a dead deer. Oh, amazing radio chatter. Looks so interesting. Two clickers by the gas station, cleared them. All right. All clear, all clear. All right, well, damn, all clear, I guess. Seems interesting enough. And there. Oh, this is theirs. Oh, okay, I was about to say. <laughs> That's not something you would normally be broadcasting on the air, but this makes more sense now. Come here. What you see? Besides Tell Ellie's beautiful face, stop. obviously. Take a look. Hmm. I see a strip mall. Oh, with the supermarket? No, town's past that. Past that? Past that yeah, where? There's a ski lodge. That's the one on Tommy and Joel's route. That's the one. Hmm. I wonder if those work or can be powered on in some way. That'd be a fun ride. Great way to avoid the zombies. There's the town. With the big tower thing? Yep. That's where the next lookout is. Hmm. Get I think I like it place. here. Seems a bit safer. Okay, is there anything around here I'm missing? Oh, hello, hello. See? Being curious pays off. Unless you accidentally stumble into a horde of zombies, then maybe not so much. Anything over here of use? No? Okay, just a lot of old papers and lamps. Dry erase board. The following you. Actually, can I go in here? Oh, I can. Oh, kind of cozy. Okay, here we go. The scrap parts. Love it. Anything in here? More scrap. You can never have too much scrap. Find a bunch of old bolts. Next thing you know, you're assembling a crossbow or something. I don't know. A bong? Oh, shit. I'm going to guess this bong was Eugene's. Hmm. Mine. He gave it to me. Really? Do you have any on you? Oh, I wish. I always got mine from Eugene. <laughs> they even had a weed man. During the zombie apocalypse, there's still a weed man. <laughs> Amazing. Well, maybe we can come back later and get blazed. Question. Were you wearing those same clothes yesterday? Maybe. They're clean. No judgment. It's patrol, you know. We're here to kill infected, not to look fancy. Still well, look nice. You can look nice and still kill zombies. Same Come on now. <clears throat> hmm. Unfortunately, neither one of those horses look very furious. I can't exactly name it Thunder. 
I need, uh, I need a horse that's probably black and super muscular with a long mane. Then it can be thunder, but these horses, they're lame. Anything in here? Oh, okay, please don't be a zombie. Okay, not a zombie, but I still for some reason got scared. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, all right, we're good. Onwards. Look at you waiting for me. You know, you could do some looting too. Might come in handy, you never know. Come on. All right, giddy up. Horse that's definitely not gonna be called Thunder. You look too lame. I think we should go out like Eugene. From a stroke? <laughs> oh, from old age. Like, living a long life. You? No way. Come on. You're way too reckless. Oh, look who's talking. Well, you'll probably die from hypothermia from wearing canvas sneakers in the snow. I am Fair point. Boots today. Oh. Oh! This place looks very familiar. Hmm. Very familiar indeed. Although I suppose if you've seen one dilapidated town of zombie apocalypse game, you've seen them all, right? <laughs> hey, should we check these houses out? It seems quiet, but we can if you want. I bet they still got supplies. Hell yeah, I want to. Are you kidding me? All right. I'm going to call you Horsey, because you just don't look like the type of horse to be called Thunder. I'm sorry. Let's check this out. What do out. you know about this place? Just another evacuated neighborhood. Infected almost never make it out this far. We usually catch them on the outer perimeter. Hmm. What? Now, what is this? Neat. Nice little portable home. Supplements let you learn new skills. Oh. We traveled a lot in these things. Oh, well, wouldn't you? I mean, if I'd lived pre-outbreak, yeah, I'd go see the whole country. Or travel to another country. Maybe one day we will. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Hmm. I like how she's saying we will. Jesse talked a lot about going to Canada. He said there's these like giant waterfalls out there he wanted to see. Really? He's such a hardcore Jackson guy. Everybody's got their dream. What are you doing tonight? Uh, I was thinking of inviting Joel to watch a movie. Oh. You guys good? Yeah. What happened? Obviously they had some sort of falling out, but why? Did she possibly find out the truth about what happened back there with the fireflies? I guess we'll find out at some point. It's kind of odd though that supplements allow you to learn new skills. I mean, I suppose it's like taking Adderall to get, you know, hyper-focused, you can learn something new, but still. All right, what do we have here? this one. Isn't it? One of those superhero cards you're all into? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like a uh, ghetto version of Pokemon. Cool. <laughs> all right, uh, can we read this? Yeah, what about the other side? Hmm. Brains 80, bronze 60. Interesting. If you guys want to read this, by all means, go ahead. But me, I'm illiterate, so uh, yeah, not going to do that. What movie are you guys going to watch? What's Joel into? Uh, Curtis and Viper 2. That's Say the what? one that's been on my radar for a while. Oh. <sighs> Sounds I thrilling. I used to watch these cheesy 80s action movies. He's really into them. Oh, no. I actually really like them, too. Oh, can't what go up there. You? What are you doing later? Some people were talking about sneaking out. Going sledding. <laughs> that sounds fun. You need to sneak out to go sledding? It seems like a dangerous way to spend your time. I mean, sneak out as in out of the camp. It's not something I would want to do, especially with all the zombies on the loose. All right, I think we've kind of explored everywhere we can go. Let's get back on the horses. Oh, look at them following along. I'm sorry, I know you're bored. It's time for us to go. I think I found everything What's I'm gonna find. Curtis and Viper 2 about? 
Okay, so two former commandos that go rogue to fight bad guys. And I think in this one, they go up against Russian spies or something. I'm more interested in this than I thought I would be. Definitely an 80s movie. <laughs> Can we possibly? Nope, okay. We can, well, actually, hold up. I was about to say, can we go over here? I just remembered, yes, we can. We just need to get a little gallop going, and there we go. Oh, blood! Easy. Oh, what happened to you? Besides being gored? What the fuck? New class of zombie? Looks like infected did this. Or a very hungry person. What do you think it would take to bring down a moose? More than one. Where the hell are they? Let's go find them. Dina, really? You pull out your handgun when you've got that rifle? See, that's why I should have the rifle. Just saying. All right, massive zombie that totally devoured and destroyed a moose. I know you're gonna jump out at any moment and I am ready to shoot and miss every single time. I'll let you go first. Oh. Okay, lots of blood. Let's just follow the trail of blood. I hear some inside. Yes, I do too. How did they get in there? More importantly, Dina, this way. More importantly, what? <laughs> All right, let's try and be as stealthy as possible. Roger. One over here. Is there any more? All right, let's try and do this the stealthy way. That is the point in the game, right? Hello there, enjoying a meal? Surprise! Oh, knife to the throat. I swear, Ellie's knife is more dangerous than her entire arsenal of weapons. So strange, you can shoot a zombie 30 times, it doesn't die, but one knife to the throat, game over. Good idea. Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Let's just continue checking all the corners first. Anything in here? Oh boy, all right, let's make a lot of noise. Oh no! The bottle, ah, I love the bottles. Fuck, there we go. And strike. Oh, I love it, so vicious. You good? And satisfying. Yeah. Nice throw, by the way. Thank you. Thanks. I've gotten really good at that, throwing bottles. For some reason, was barricaded. bottles are everywhere. How'd that runner get in here? Yeah, it's a good question. Well, I'm sure we'll find the answer. Ever taken down on patrol. It's gotta be the one I had with Joel a year or so ago. It was like, I don't know, a dozen? It's a lot. You? Cleared about 20 once. There was a group passing through. Fuck. Twenty? We'll get you a new personal record today. Does she have a machine gun? Good lord! Or maybe a stick of dynamite? All right. Is there anywhere else I can go in here? I mean, obviously there is. Possibly through the window? Nope. Definitely not. Okay. Uh, ah, here we go. Again, just follow the trail of blood. There's always something fun at the end of a trail of blood, right? Ooh, it's a party out here. Ho, ho, the whole family. That's what I feel like, too. Let's see how it goes. Come here. Shh, shh. It's all good. See, the lights went out. Oh, you're getting involved. I like it. Okay, for once I have backup. Hello there, little fella. We're strangers, but that's about to change. It's knife to meet you! <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. Very effective. And lots of blood. I'm happy to see they've upped the violence in this game. Which I'm sure will not make parents very happy, but I'm happy. Oof, this guy's got a stomach virus. I feel the pain. Often times when I've had a little bit too much pizza. That's kind of what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's go over here and get this guy. Hopefully the one behind me doesn't decide to attack. <laughs> Shh. You 
You're gonna be in a better place! Zombie heaven! I don't know what a zombie heaven would look like. But, um, you guys are going there. Congratulations. Yeah, again, it's amazing. There's so many bottles all over the place. Lots of alcoholics. And a satisfying shatter. Is that all of them? Yeah. I hope so. Looks like it. We've still got to get the ones in the supermarket. Let's Ooh. keep circling the building. There's got to be a way in. Why do I feel like a supermarket would have a lot of zombies? Just seems like the type of place they would congregate. Hmm. Really? Nothing in the safe? Sad. All right, following you. Oh, I forgot. I have to lead the way. Uh, let's see now. Possibly up here? Nope. Or actually... Yeah, no, you're right, you're right, yeah. Ellie, help hmm? me up there. Oh, okay, Wanna sure. Wanna look around? By all means, go ahead. All right, go ahead. If you see anything that wants to bite, scream. And then I'll take off running. Um, My Siri just went off. There's a hole in the roof over there. Here. No, oh. There we go. <laughs> Thanks. Look, see? All right, let's figure out how to get in there. Well, it shouldn't be too challenging, right? Uh, first of all, let's drop down here. Aha! We can crawl through Under here. here. But, uh, but what's on the other side? Oh my god! I should have seen that coming. Can you not? What is your problem? Are you off your medication? Ellie? Nicely done. Are you clean? Yeah. Just banged up. Please die of old age and not because you get infected. I really don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Does she not know? Deal. Oh, right. Okay, the only ones that know Ellie is immune would be Joel, Tommy, and Ellie. No one else knows. Interesting. Surely that's going to play into the plot of the game at some point. They'll, these two will be on a patrol, she'll get bit, and then it'll become very obvious that she's immune. I hope so. That'd be an amazing tension point in the game. But yeah, I'm really curious to find out why there's a falling out between Ellie and Joel. Everyone's asking, are you guys good? I don't know, are they? I hope so. They better be. Oh look, more medication. And a note. Okay, let's read this. I'm sorry to God for what I did. I wasn't going to hurt you. I didn't want anything from your store except for the drugs. Of course, that's what everyone wants, right? Drugs. Your husband came at me. What choice did I have? My little sister stopped feeling her feet. I needed the insulin. Everyone is hoarding the stuff. What choice did I have? I hope he survives. I'm sorry. Well, that's a nice note to leave behind. It's all good. You left a note. I forgive you for killing my husband. I said no one ever. Okay, let's go ahead and apply the first aid kit that I don't have. Fantastic. All right. Uh, dead end. Okay. See Anywhere else? That roof? Uh, not sure. Nope. Okay, that would have been too easy. But this, on the other hand, looks very promising. Maybe a boost? Chop, chop. Come on. It's time for you to get some exercise in. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can do this. Athleticism! Nope. Okay. I am not athletic at all. I can make that. Ooh. Oh, come on, Ellie. Surely. Oh, wait. I'm pressing the wrong button. Oh, no, don't fall. <laughs> okay. I am terrible at games. There we go. I was pressing the wrong combinations of buttons That's because fine. I'm terrible at games. All right, let's climb up here. Please, can nothing drop from the, the ceiling? Or jump out at me. I've had enough jump scares for one video. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm in. My viewers are gonna think I'm a wuss. Which I am, but still, don't rub it in. Hmm. Me too. I guess that's one benefit of a zombie apocalypse. Check for supplies? You don't have to do boring flowcharts and graphs. 
because you don't have a job, right? <laughs> now what's in here? Handgun ammo. The types of things you would definitely find in a corporate office, obviously. Hmm. Todd, why don't you show us uh, the flow charts there? Tell us, can we increase our profits? Oh, you're gonna have a demonstration with handgun ammo, fantastic. How does that work? Anything in here? Oh, what? Oh, okay, alcohol. At least hey, I think so. Got some alcohol. A couple of rags. Here, fix yourself up. Thank you. How kind of you. All right, uh, health kit recipe unlocked. All right. So there is crafting in this game. That makes me happy. There was something satisfying in the first game about crafting. But again, I really hope we could find arrows, lots of arrows, because the first time around, I felt like it was just weird. You could find lots of handgun ammo and whatnot, but you couldn't find this arrows for your bow. Me. To me, it seems like that'd be the most abundant. Oh, spores, here we go. Look at Ellie putting her mask on. Solidifying her lies, as if you're not immune. Cute. Remember, I don't want to have to shoot you in the face. Oh, that's so sweet. So romantic. Oh. Oh. Okay. All these spores mean they've been here for a while. Keep your eyes peeled for older infected. Yep. Well, somehow they've managed to make the spore nest even more gross. I don't know. I think we're above it. Let's get to the ground floor. Yeah, 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 hold up. Just double checking, see what I mean? You never know when you're gonna find lots of scrap parts lying around. All right, how do we get to the uh, the floor? Through here, I'm guessing, yes. Okay, oh, see again, they've done such a good job making that look somehow even more grotesque than the first game. At least that thing's pulsating. That was the weird thing. Just seeing uh, a spore nest with pulsating bits. Ugh. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, rifle ammo. Or rather, a single bullet. And a note. Hmm. Yo, Kristen left the real shit in the safe for you. Combo is the date my good boy got employee of the month. Don't fucking sell those or give them away. That's for your back, all right? Feel better, Mina. Mina? Mina. I don't know how to say that name. Okay. So, oh, hello. Uh, employee of the month. We gotta keep our eyes peeled for a, uh, an employee of the month date somewhere around here. Do I see anything? Hmm. As I am talking to myself like a totally sane person. Employee of the month. Oh, hold, hold up. Good boy. Okay. Do any of you look like a good boy? Well, oh, obviously it has to be the dog, right? <laughs> Tell me, how did you, as a dog, get employee of the month? Love this place. Progressive hiring strategies. We're gonna hire humans and animals. All right, uh, July 2013. Right. Okay. So, um, how would that work? July 2013. What in the hell? Okay, this may be difficult. Well, July is 07, right? Okay. And then, I'm guessing 2013? There we go. Nope. There we go. Okay. 2013. Nope. Gotta go down in numbers, beastie. Math is hard. Oh, shit. Got it. First try. Hello! All right. Got lots of drugs. Lots of supplies. You have 25 supplements. Okay. Let's open this up, see what we can do here. Uh, oh, cool. Survival. Move faster in listening mode. Doesn't seem uh, really that helpful. Okay. Hmm. What do I want? Craft an upgrade for your melee weapon, restoring it to full durability and greatly increasing its damage. Well, I think this would probably be more useful. So I'm gonna go with this. All right. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, well now that looks devastating. We just need to find the proper supplies for it. Can't wait to try that out, or rather miss every single time, as I tend to do. Anything in here? 
Uh, yeah, so if you guys want me to cut out a lot of the boring crafting and uh, scavenging for resources, definitely leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I'll try and leave it in. I know for some people watching someone run around in circles, getting supplies is kind of tedious and boring. So again, if you want me to leave that part out, I'll definitely do so. Oh, phew. After playing Resident Evil, I'm always scared of lockers. I feel like something will jump out and grab me. Hmm. This place is kind of dry. Really nothing too useful here. Where are the guns at? Or the flamethrower, rather. That's what I really need. A big, nasty flamethrower. All right, uh, let's keep going. How do we get the hell out of here? Well, I'm guessing we could probably go through this crack in the wall over here, right? Yes. Okay, well that floor is not very stable. Now see, that's how you don't make it to 70 years old. Oh, clicker! Don't move! It looks so gross! Oh, okay. Well, that's one way to take care of a clicker. So nasty. They've done a great job somehow upping up the, upping the detail. I mean, even the clickers look more disgusting. All right, let's try and sneak up and grab them. Yes, extra quiet. Hello there, clicky boy. You look so gross. Covered in your weird, porous, pimply body thingies. I don't even know what to call them, but you look disgusting. There we go. Broccoli head. Or cauliflower. Let's try and take this one out. How many more are in here? Just one? Okay, good. You know, you can join in and try and help out a little bit. Just saying. That's right. Don't move. You hear nothing. You can't smell me, I hope. Haven't put on deodorant today. Still kill! Very nice to meet you! Look at how gross that is. Again, the level of detail just conveys how mutated it is. All right. Oh, hold up. Make my skin crawl. I remember you. The building's cleared out. And then get the fuck out of here. I agree with that. Hmm. I definitely remember this. Oh, okay, that's not at all what I meant to do. Sorry about that. You just scared me so much in the first game. I remember that. The weird cardboarded silhouette. It scared the crap out of me in the first game for some reason. Well, I guess that bullet came in handy after all. Hello, you. Thank you for visiting Weston's. No, thank you for not terrifying me. Ellie, found the door. Help me out. Yes, just one moment. You know I've got to do what I've got to do, and what I've got to do is loot. Because, again, supplies are exceedingly rare. All right, well, I think for now I'm going to leave it off there. If you guys are excited for this to be a full series and for me to try and consistently upload every single day, then smash the like button. Leave a comment down below. Have you guys purchased The Last of Us 2? Are you going to play the game first and then watch the playthrough? Are you going to watch it first and then play? Which, that'd be kind of odd in my opinion. <laughs> but either way, if you guys are excited, again, leave a comment down below. And until the next episode, peace out.